In this lesson, we are going to learn how to design the columns. First, I am going to select all columns in my project. So, go to the select menu, select, then click on object type. Select the columns, then click select. Now, go to the design menu, then concrete frame design. Then click on view review overrides. In this form, under framing type, as the shear walls will carry all the seismic forces and the columns will carry only the vertical forces, I am going to choose narrow sway. Then click OK. Next, I am going to add the load combinations. So go to the concrete frame design, then select the design combinations. Now select UD con 1, then press the shift key and select UD con 22, then click add. Now I need to draw a section for these columns, so go to draw, then draw develop elevation definition. Name it column. Now draw the elevation by clicking on the center of the columns one by one. Then click enter. Now select all of them. Then click on concrete frame design. Now as you can see, ETABS has finished the design and it is playing the required area for each column. Also, you can display the rebar percentage by going to Concrete Frame Design, then Display Design Info. In this form, select Rebar Percentage, then click OK. As you can see, all columns have taken 1%. To display the design summary, right click on any one, then click on the summary. Here are the column details, section properties, material properties. And here is the rubber area and the rubber percentage. Also, you can go to overrides and here you can change the current column section. For example, I am going to choose RC 40 by 60, then click OK. Now go to the summary again. As you can see, the river ratio increased to 8%, so it is not safe. By this way, you can try and error until you reach the ideal reinforcement. But I recommended you to take the maximum normal forces and the moment and design the column out of E tabs. Then check your design in E tabs. Now for beams, you can use the same method, but I recommend you to use the safe software for designing the slabs and the beams. So it's the end of our lesson, and thank you for watching.